Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia and today I am sharing with you 20 healthy habits for 2020. Number one, take the stairs. Whenever you have an option to take an escalator, an elevator, or the stairs, make sure that you're always taking the stairs if you are capable of doing so. This is a really basic way for you to get healthier. If every time that you took an escalator or you took the elevator, you took the stairs instead, all of those times add up and then you just become a healthier person. Take the stairs. Number two, stop making excuses. If you're the type of person who's constantly blaming your unhealthy lifestyle on something other than yourself, whether it be your job, your partner, your location wherever you're living because it's cold and you don't want to go for a run outside just stop making excuses because you are the only one who controls what you do with your body you are in control of your own life and if that means that you have to make a change to get what you want just do it instead of making excuses you can take some action and actually do something positive and benefit your life in a more healthy way number three wake up early now, this goes hand in hand with falling asleep early. And when I say falling asleep early, I don't mean like going to bed early because I know a lot of people out there go to bed around 10 p.m. and then they end up scrolling through their phones until midnight and then they actually fall asleep at midnight. When I say fall asleep early, I mean set your alarm, close your phone, put it to the side and fall asleep. When you fall asleep earlier, you're going to wake up earlier. It's just how your body works. It's science, you know? And when you wake up earlier, you're more productive, you're more energized, you're more ready to take on the day and become a healthier person in general. Habit number four, cook at home. The less that you eat takeout, the healthier you're going to be. When you're cooking at home, you know exactly what ingredients are going into your food. You know how much salt you're putting in, how much oil, butter, etc. So take the time to prepare your food, chop up some fresh vegetables, cook some chicken, cook some whatever fish, and make your food at home. If you replace your takeout maybe once or twice a week with a home-cooked meal, you'll definitely become a healthier person. Number five. Now this goes hand in hand with number four, cooking at home. Number five is to have willpower in the supermarket. It's much easier to deny the snack food when you're in the supermarket, when you're looking at the Oreos, looking at the cookies, looking at you know, the pastries. It's much easier to exercise willpower in the supermarket and just simply not buy the junk food rather than trying to have willpower at home and telling yourself like, oh no, I'm not gonna eat the cookie today. Like. I'm on a diet, like I'm gonna be healthy, I'm not gonna eat it, but when it's in your house, you're going to end up eating it regardless because you bought it and you don't wanna waste money. So just don't buy it in the first place and then you won't have the dilemma of whether or not you should be eating the junk food when you're at home. Six, drink water. Now this may seem like an obvious healthy habit because everybody knows that we should be drinking water. That's just like a very common fact that is instilled in our brains from a very young age. But when I say drink water, I don't just mean drink water. I mean don't drink soda. Don't drink juice with added sugar. Replace all of your cold beverages with water. This is one of the healthiest things that you can do for yourself. Replacing soda, replacing juice, replacing alcohol with water. Seven, brush your teeth after dinner. This will definitely prevent you from eating late at night. Our bodies don't actually need to consume any more food after 9 p.m. because Technically, we're like going to sleep right after that and the only reason why we're consuming food is for energy So if you worked out like a really hard workout and then you ate dinner You're replacing that energy with the nutrients in the food But if you just like don't work out at all you sat all day at work You ate all day you come home you eat dinner and then you eat a late-night snack and go to sleep all of that food is is being stored in your body as fat. Brushing your teeth after dinner will 100% help you lose weight. If you're trying to lose weight, don't eat late at night. 
Number eight, take deep breaths. I know I've said this in another video before, but you only need three things in life to survive. It's air, water, and food. You can go weeks without food, you can go days without water, but you can only go minutes without air. Our breath is our life force. That's what they say in yoga, and it's very, very true. It's what gives us life. So the more that we deepen our breath, the more that we calm down, slow down, and take deep breaths, the more life and more quality of life we will have. Now, you may be watching this thinking like, well, I'm breathing all the time, that's how I'm surviving. Like, that's a silly healthy habit. Like, I'm already doing it. No, when I say take deep breaths, I want you to sit down on the floor or sit up in your bed and take a deep inhale for seven seconds. Hold at the top and exhale for eight seconds. Now do that like five or six more times until a minute passes and even just breathing deeply for one minute will positively affect your life and you'll be sharper, you'll be more aware, more alert, and you'll just be like ready to take on the day. Number nine, move your body. Now there are many ways to kind of like track how much you're moving your body. You can get a Fitbit or a smartwatch or you can use like the health app on the iPhone. Just take a look, kind of analyze, see how much you're actually moving your body every day and then move a little more, you know? I have a general rule for myself that I like to exercise 60 minutes five days a week. And this is just something that I do to keep me from getting lazy, getting fat. I guess that's not even the only thing. Like it's just like a healthy thing to do is to move your body. And workouts could be as boring as you make them or as fun as you make them. You can go rock climbing, you can go do the trapeze, you can go for a run, go for a hike by the beach. There's so many exercise classes out there now. It's 2020, like I feel like exercise classes are like the big craze, like soul cycle, this, that, the other thing. Like do something exciting, get your body moving and become a healthier person. <sighs> 10, call your friends. Now, this may kind of seem like a weird, healthy habit for 2020 to you because moving your body or drinking a lot of water, that seems more like a healthy habit that's normal. But calling your friends and socializing is actually something that improves your mental health more than anything. You might be like looking at social media and you might see, oh my God, Becky hung out with Cheryl and she didn't even ask me to hang out with her. Like. Becky must hate me. Or you might see that Bill just uploaded a new profile picture on Facebook and you're like, wow, Bill looks great. Like he's living his best life. But until you actually pick up the phone and talk to Bill and hear the tone in his voice, you actually never know how Bill feels. Becky might still love you. Like, did you reach out to her? Maybe Cheryl was the one that made the plans. So instead of creating fake scenarios in your head, Pick up the phone, call your friends, reconnect with people, just socialize, and you'll be in a better mental place. Mental state? Mental place? Mm -hmm. I don't know. You just pick up the phone and call a friend. Number 11, read a book. Now, this is a healthy habit that I don't actually exercise myself too frequently, but I do know that reading is very healthy for you because you're stimulating a part of your mind that's not always stimulated. You're slowing down, you're actually consuming information that may be beneficial for you or you may enter like a whole new world if you're reading like Harry Potter or something. Like, It's just good to get away for a while, calm down and read a good book. Number 12 buy new sneakers okay so I love shopping as a lot of you know already but I'm telling you to buy new sneakers because you're supposed to replace your sneakers every 300 to 500 miles like take a look at your sneakers right now and really think about like how many miles did you walk or run in those replacing your sneakers actually helps you avoid the risk of injury because when you use your sneakers for that amount of 
miles or that amount of time, your sneakers actually lose the ability to absorb shock. And then like, your knees are like pounding, like, replace your sneakers, go out, treat yourself and go buy yourself a pair of new sneakers. Lucky number 13. Intentionally remove yourself from social media every once in a while. Trust me, you're really not gonna miss anything and this is just better for your mental health and probably your physical health because if you're not on social media, then you're probably like going to do something physical with your body or like, I don't know, go out for lunch with a friend and like maybe put your phone down. Just like take a break every once in a while. I think it's good to step away from that as much as like I'm on social media right now, like hello. Um, yeah, just take a little break. Love your own life. Number 14, make your bed every single day. This was actually my New Year's resolution in 2019 and this significantly changed my life. I don't wanna sound dramatic, but like, I just feel more put together when my bed is made and it makes me less likely to like crawl into bed and be a lazy person and like actually get up and do things. And I feel like Health is mainly like getting up, moving, eating right, treating your body right, not overeating, doing this, that, the other thing. And I feel like making your bed kind of contributes to all of that. If you make your bed, you can lay out your clothes for the gym. And then when you come home from work, you see your clothes laying there, you put them on right away because they're like right there. You're not gonna wanna like jump back into your unmade bed. I'm just making my bed because I feel better about myself and I feel a little more productive. 15, go outside just like plants our bodies are organisms that need nutrients and we typically get our nutrients from like food vitamins but we are also positively affected by natural sunlight in moderation and fresh air this leads me to number 16 wear sunscreen even in the winter time even when it's cloudy, the sun is peeking through. The sun is coming through. The sun is so powerful, so strong. Like, why do you think that it's still bright outside? Because the sun is coming through. Just wear sunscreen because it will prevent wrinkles, skin cancer, and just make you healthier overall. Number 17, eat plant-based or pescatarian every once in a while, like maybe once a week. I used to be the type of person who could like never not eat meat and like, I'm Catholic and Lent would be a struggle for me because we can't eat meat on Fridays during Lent. And I'd be like, oh my God, what am I gonna eat? And I would just like eat pizza or eat like a bagel. But a healthier way to be is to actually like eat a salad. I have an entire video of me like cooking plant-based meals, like meal prepping plant-based meals. So if you wanna check that out, there's something there and then there's also like a bunch of other plant-based recipes all over the internet This is not only good for the environment, but it's good for your body itself number 18 Listen to good music life is way too short to listen to bad music And I feel like there's not that great of music like on the radio So if you haven't already make sure that you like download and pay for Spotify or Apple music or something so that you can Listen to some quality jams in your life. Also, like, listening to good music while you're working out is definitely very important for motivation. So, yeah, listen to good music. Number 19, stretch every single day. If you wake up and you touch your toes, that's good enough for me. I just want you to stretch your body. It's so important to move our bodies, but more importantly, to stretch them. Like, just take deep breaths and just stretch. Like, stretching feels great. If you can get yourself to a yoga class, even better. And my final tip for the evening or day or whenever you're watching this is take a vacation. This may be hard for some people to grasp because they're constantly in work mode. You don't feel like you deserve a vacation or Maybe you don't have the money or you don't have the time, but I'm giving this to you as number 20, as the last piece of advice, as the last healthy habit for 2020, because it's so important to rest your body, to reset. People are way more productive in work 
that actually take vacations. It's like a proven study. So do something for yourself. If you don't have the money, there are things that you can do like probably around the area where you're living. Um, take a staycation, there's nothing wrong with that. Just relax, calm down, take a little break because life is way too short to just keep going, going, going and never enjoying any minute of it because one day you're gonna wake up, you're gonna be like 60 years old, hopefully you'll wake up when you're 60 and you're not dying before that, but one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be 70 or 60 or however old you're gonna be and you don't wanna look back and regret not having enjoyed your life. Yeah, that's all I had to say. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you got anything out of this video, if this video helped you at all in any way, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. Comment down below if you have anything else to add, if you have any healthy tips or habits that you wanna share with me that I should start implementing in my life. Make sure you comment down below so that I can learn a little thing or two as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh yeah, don't forget to smash that subscribe button as always. And I'll see you guys next time. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Amelia. Take it easy, enjoy your life. It's 2020, it's a new year. Whatever you wanna do, you can accomplish it. If you have a healthy goal to achieve, I know that you're going to get there.